that ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Israelites, now that the awakening has entered another level, don't let the kingdom of darkness lead you into another era of bondage. Israelites, this is exciting times as well as critical times. You must remain vigilant at this time because your enemy, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The scripture says Satan now has come down with great wrath. He wants to execute his wrath against you because he knows that he has but a short time. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. As the awakening elevate from glory to glory, the Most High is waking up his people in waves. We have to make sure we keep speaking truth and our behaviors match what we preach. Israelites, it's through your behavior you will win your people over. The Most High charged our ancestors to teach their children his laws and statutes and commandments. Our ancestors failed at transferring the statutes and laws of the Most High. That is how we got entangled with religion. This generation still have the responsibility to teach their children and communities the truth of the Most High's words. Therefore shall ye lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. And ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house, and upon thy gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children in the land of which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give them, as the days of heaven upon the earth. Israelites, make sure that you're living a life that is pleasing in the sight of the Most High. Your behavior will testify against you. In this wave of Israelites waking up, a lot of the newly awakened Israelites will be lost and not understand what to do next. The Satans will not sit there and watch the Israelites return to serve the Most High without interference. It is important that the seed that was planted in this wave of Israelites waking up doesn't fall on the wayside as well as unto stony places and on thorns. The Israelites who know the word and understand it, you have to help teach our people. The scripture said in the parable of the sower that the Israelites that hear the word of the kingdom and don't understand it, the enemy comes quickly and destroy the good news planted in his or her heart. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received a seed by the wayside. Right now, a lot of Israelites have heard Kanye and Kyrie, as well as many other Israelites on YouTube, talk about the Israelite heritage. Some have heard the good news, but they don't understand the word of the kingdom. Most of them are used to hearing half-truth and doctrines of devils in Rome that they do not understand the truth they are being exposed to. Because the workers of Iniquity and the Beast system own mainstream media and social media, they have decreased our voices through censorship and increased the lying voices. Instead of the newly awakened Israelites hearing the truth from their people, the workers of Iniquity made sure they hear the voices of the heathens who are acknowledging our Israelite heritage but still speaking lies to them. Israelites flee from the strangers' voices. They do not know the Most High. They know the false version of the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. 
The workers of iniquity is making it difficult for the people of the Most High to find honest Israelite channels that can truly help them in their journey. The workers of iniquity have bombarded Israelite tags on YouTube with the imposters' channels. They have buried many Israelite channels. Israelites, it is important to share on your timelines, emails, and text messages to keep spreading the good news. By sharing and spreading the good news, the Israelites in this wave of awakening will know there's a community of Israelites who have returned to serve the Most High outside of religion. Remember, the scripture said, when the word is heard in all the kingdoms of this world as a testimony to all nations, then will the end come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. The newly awakened Israelites need to know that those of us the Most High have already awakened is there to help them. The Most High has many purpose for the backlash Kanye and Kyrie receive. Instead of looking at these men's sins, we must look at what else the Most High is using their rebellion against the Zionists for. Israelites, the enemy would not sit there and allow you to get closer to the Most High to be saved. If you're an Israelite who have been in the truth for a while, think about how it was for you when the Most High first woke you up. We must have compassion on our people and help them in however way we can to make sure the seed that was planted in them do not fall by the wayside. Remember, faith alone cannot get you into the kingdom. Your faith must accompany repentance and good works to enter the kingdom. You see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. The way the Satans are quickly removing the seed that was planted in the Israelites in this wave of awakening through censorship of honest and anointed teachers of the Most High. The heathens whose voice was increased to deceive the Israelites coming into the truth. These heathens are acknowledging the indigenous black people's heritage and slandering our people who have been teaching and talking about this for years. When they slander us and call our channels and belief a hate group and anti-Semitic, this will put fear into our people and they will begin to believe the Israelites are a cult. The heathens will deceive them into bondage again via the religion called Judaism. I've already seen many indigenous black people posting the heathens talking about the Israelite heritage instead of their own people telling them the truth. The Most High was correct when he said a prophet have no honor in his country or his house. And they were offended in him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. The Satans will use the lying voices of the heathens to entice the Israelites into bondage. In addition, they will use the awakening in a way to make money. It's always about money for them. They will acknowledge that you are the true Jews. They will invite you to join Judaism. Instead of Israelites running away from all forms of religion, they are running from one house of bondage to another house of bondage. One of the many deceptions Satan have accomplished, convincing the world that Judaism is a race of people instead of a religion. Another deception Satan has accomplished, deceiving the Israelites into believing they are Jews. You're not a Jew. You're an Israelite. The heathens want you to come under the religion called Judaism to establish a covenant with them and their gods. The heathens' gods are not your God. Israelites, listen to the Most High when he say, make no covenant with them and their gods. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. One of the biggest fears the heathens are facing is the consequences for their actions towards the indigenous black people and polluting the words of the Most High by inserting themselves and their gods into the Holy Scriptures. The heathens believe if they do not acknowledge their past and present, they will never be held accountable for the evil they have spread all over the world. The Zionists believe creating a God to give them salvation and forgiveness of sin while not repenting or acknowledging the sins of their fathers and their own sins, they will obtain favor from the Most High. If judgment starts with the people of the Most High, what is the outcome for an unrepentant heathen? But the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? The Israelites and the indigenous black people are the created beings made in the image of the Most High. 
The workers of iniquity despise the image of the Most High. Their end will be just like their fathers. Regardless if the Zionists and the heathens believe they will reign forever, Israelites know that the times of the heathens will end. Your prayer to the Most High, let their iniquities be full and their wickedness reach the ears of the Most High so that the times of the heathens can swiftly end. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The workers of iniquity will invite the newly awakened Israelites to join them by enticing them through deceit. Israelites, do you remember how emotional you were when you discovered the truth? The Zionists will use the emotions of the newly awakened Israelites to their advantage. In order to control the awakening, they must take it over to insert their lies. In addition, they must establish a covenant to get the people of the Most High under their power. Without a covenant, they have no power over you. Once you make an agreement with them via a covenant, their gods become your God. Their ways will become your ways. Kanye risks his billions to warn you about these covenants. Israelites, regardless to how sweet the gifts from the Satans and the Zionists in the beast culture appear, do not accept the cursed gifts. Do not join them in anything. Do not be partakers with them. What fellowship does light have with darkness? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Israelites, do not marvel at the heathen's sudden kindness towards you. Satan transformed himself into an angel of light. The scripture said his ministers do the same. The Zionists and the heathens bend knowing who you are. It's you that is figuring it out. You don't have to convince the workers of iniquity of who you are. Israelites, let the Most High tell you who you are. The workers of iniquity is not going to help you serve your God in the spirit and in truth. The Zionists will deceive you into serving their gods in religion to keep you in bondage. Running from one house of bondage to another is not how you come out of her to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Israelites, all religion comes from the Satans. Religion was not established by the Most High. The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, is on top of the pyramid. Out of her comes every other religion you can think of. Rome have an estimated 1.3 billion followers. The daughters of the mother harlot, the Protestant Church, and the various denominations of Christianity combined has an estimated 1.3 billion followers. Altogether, Christianity have an estimated 2.6 billion followers. Islam is the second largest religion with an estimated 1.9 billion followers. Hinduism is another with 1.1 billion. If you combine the other various religions such as Buddhism, Judaism, and etc., that is another estimated 1.1 billion people. In total, there's an estimated 6.7 billion people in religion. The current world population in 2022 is at an estimated 8 billion people. I hope you can now understand the scriptures when it say, broad is the road that leads to destruction. Many will find that road. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. If broad is the road that leads to destruction, it is safe to say religion is the broad road that leads to destruction. The people with some sort of religious faith outnumber the people with no affiliation with religion. The word of the Most High is revealing truth to those who was given the opportunity to know the mysteries. Out of the 8 billion people in this world, there's an estimated 1.3 billion people that is not affiliated with religion. These people are the minority compared to the 6.7 billion in religion, making up the majority of the world's population. Out of the 1.3 billion people, how many of those people are atheists? 
According to the beast culture, there's an estimated 500 million people that are atheists. There is a population of 800 million people with no affiliation with religion. Israelites, did you see how quickly 8 billion decreased to 800 million? Out of the 800 million with no affiliation with the beast religion, how many are Israelites and Gentiles that repented, denounced the idols of the heathens, and returned to the Most High? In addition, accept the truth that is spreading in the awakening. The word of the Most High said, Narrow is the road that leads to life. A few there be that finds it. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. The workers of iniquity in the beast system enjoy keeping stats. Israelites, I show you their stats to open your eyes to how great the sin of idolatry is and how Satan became the god of this world. 8 billion people downsizing to 800 million is truly heartbreaking. Before the flood, the scripture said the population of men began to multiply tremendously. When the population of men increased on the earth, that is when the watchers took the daughters of men for wives and created an abomination on the earth. When the sins of mankind on the earth multiply, the Most High sent a flood that killed everyone except Noah and his family. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. A remnant of the seed of the fallen survived the flood because the children of the Nephilim Neanderthals continued to make an appearance throughout the Israelite history in the Bible. Judah, David, and many others fought against the giants. Israelites, the Most High used Noah and his family to repopulate the earth. The Most High do not need millions of people to populate this earth. Eight people repopulate the earth to eight billion in 2022. Despite of famines, pestilence, wars, and many other tragedies that took place on this earth, we are at 8 billion from Noah and his family. The scripture said a remnant will return to serve the Most High. Despite the Israelites being as numerous as the sand of the sea, that is a lot of Israelites. But only a remnant will return to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. With the data kept by the heathens revealed an estimated 6.7 billion people are trapped in religion. With 800 million people with no affiliation with religion, how big do you believe the population of the remnant is within the 800 million? If you combine all of the subscribers of the Israelite channels together, I'm estimating 1.1 million subscribers on YouTube. I believe most of the subscriptions are heathens. Open your eyes, Israelites. The time has come for you to humble yourself and repent. There are a lot of Israelites waking up in this wave. There are Israelites in the awakening who haven't departed from Rome. A lot of Israelites have awakened to their nationality and their heritage. However, the truth aspects of the awakening, majority of them still lack. Many have unfinished covenants with Rome they need to deal with. The Most High said you must serve him in the spirit and in truth. The scripture said the word of the Most High will sanctify you with truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. A lot of Israelites believe coming out of Rome in its various forms means leaving one faith for another religious faith. The workers of iniquity is convincing the people of the Most High that they are Jews. With this false truth spreading, many Israelites will accept the Jewish faith and become trapped in the religion called Judaism. Same bondage, different faith. I believe the Zionists are pushing for division between the Jewish people and the Israelites to make room for the Israelites that are waking up to join Judaism. I won't be surprised if I see an increase of Israelites wearing Jewish attire and becoming one with the heathens again. The Israelites are stiff-necked in a rebellious house. Some Israelites will follow the heathens and their gods but refuse to follow the Most High. The time has come for you to give the Zionists back their gods. 
The workers of iniquity will mislead many Israelites into believing the religious practice of Judaism is the correct way to serve the Most High. The Book of Jubilee said you would follow after the Gentiles and keep your customs in error. And all the children of Israel will forget and will not find the path of the years and will forget the new moons and seasons and Sabbath and they will go wrong as to all the orders of the years. For I know and from henceforth will I declare it unto thee. And it is not of my own devising for the book lies written before me and on the heavenly tablets the divisions of the days is ordained lest they forget the feast of the covenant and walk according to the feast of the Gentiles after their error and after their ignorance. Israelites, know that you cannot convert into a bloodline. The Most High has established the holy bloodline. You can convert into a religion. The Zionists would try to convert as many Israelites as possible to Judaism to push an agenda. I believe the workers of iniquity want the world to accept the men of sin or the Antichrist when the Zionists present him to the world very soon. It will be easier to deceive the indigenous black people to accept the men of sin because Rome have pre-programmed them to accept the abominable graven image of the false Messiah named Jesus Christ. The Zionists have already inserted into the scriptures that Jesus is the Jewish Messiah. And set up over his head. His accusation written, this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. If the indigenous black people accept the Jewish Messiah, it will influence many people to accept the men of sin. Black people push the culture and set a lot of trends in the B system. The Zionists want the indigenous black people to see themselves in the false Messiah. The Zionists are allowing the workers of iniquity and mainstream media to acknowledge the indigenous black people are Jews. Israelites, be careful with that word Jew. You're not a Jew. When the false Messiah comes in the form of what black people are used to seeing in Rome, many indigenous black people will believe and follow after the Jewish Messiah. I hope you're beginning to see the agenda. That is how a lot of our people will die in their sins. There's only a remnant. The scripture said in the book of Revelation, everyone whose name not written in the book will bow down and worship the beast and the image of the beast. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. When Jacob's trouble come, if we're that generation alive at that time, we will know whose names not written in the book. By the way, if you reject the image of the beast and accept the doctrines from the beast religion, you still worship the beast. You must use discernment. To the Israelites in the truth, it's important to correct our people when you hear them call themselves Jews. You must open your eyes to see the greater deception at hand. You need to look at what is happening behind the scenes. There will be many messiahs. I don't want our people deceived by the false messiahs the synagogue of Satan has created. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. The parable of the sower reveal, the Israelites who hear the word of the kingdom and don't understand, the seed planted in them have fallen unto the wayside. The Satans will come to remove the seed quickly. We have witnessed how Kyrie returned to take his seat at the table of the Zionists after persecution. The word had no root in him. When tribulation and persecution increased in his life, he forsook his God for the treasures of this world. Therefore, the seed planted in him fell onto stony ground. Israelites we want to prevent the word from falling onto stony grounds and the Israelites in this wave of awakening. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. The Bible say, in the last days, the love of many will wax cold. 
When tribulations and persecutions increase among our people, many indigenous black people allow the spirit of fear disable them. Israelites, don't let the good seed planted in you fall onto stony places. We must encourage our people to establish a relationship with the Most High to become a part of the remnant. The scripture says some Israelites who hear the word of the kingdom will allow the cares of this world choke the word out of them. These are the Israelites who receive the word and the truth of the word have fallen on thorns. He also that received a seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. The Most High said, if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Israelites, do not let the Zionists steal the word of the kingdom from you. The world has nothing to offer you. Do not let the spiritual robbers steal your salvation. I want every Israelite in this wave of awakening to receive the word of the kingdom and the seed fall onto good ground. The seed that fall onto good ground are the Israelites when they hear the word, they believe and understand the word. My hope for every Israelite waking up in this wave to understand the word and cut all ties with the beast religion. When they enter the awakening, they can bear good fruits. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The Most High has multiple purpose for a trial and tribulation. The Zionists believe if they shut down the awakening with their usual threats against us, it would silence us. The Most High used the rebellion of Kanye and Kyrie against the Zionists to bring more of his people into the awakening. We must utilize this time to help all of our people who are waking up in this wave. Israelites, do not allow the workers of iniquity to disciple our people. The Zionists will transform our people into Jews and they will end up right back into the house of bondage. Regardless of them censoring our voices to increase theirs, the Most High will send a remnant whose names are written in the book to find his anointed teachers to help them on their journey. The Zionists have no choice but to confirm what was written. All of their secrets will be made known. Everything written will come to pass. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Israelites, we have to take control of our lives and destiny. We can't allow our enemies to tell our stories. How did we come from being conspiracy theorists and a hate group to them confessing we are the lost tribes of Israel? They censor our voices for saying this. They want to be rewarded for repeating what we have been saying for years. The workers of iniquity say the tribes of Israel are lost to cover their tracks from stealing our identity for all of these years. They have deceived many with their lies. Israelites with their confession don't expect the thieves to return what they have stolen. I am sure they know we will leave the land of our captivity with all of their possessions. It is prophesied. The wealth of the sinners are laid up for the just. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Israelites, don't let the mainstream media coverage of our Israelite heritage distract you from repenting. The Zionists have to find a way to capitalize on the awakening. They want to make it appear as if they are the ones making these discoveries and revealing it to us. Since their labels of conspiracy theorists don't work and a lot of our people are waking up, they are looking for ways to change the narrative. That is why they are not talking to the anointed teachers in the awakening. The workers of iniquity are talking to the rebels with the mind of Rome as well as the Jewish people who distance themselves from the Zionists while benefiting from the privilege the Zionists gave them to change the narrative. The next step for the heathens in religion is for them to profess they have inherited lies. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. 
Israelites, the purpose of this message is to help water the seed the Most High planted in his people stay on good grounds where it can produce good fruits that will establish the kingdom of the Most High. Israelites, you have come too far to allow the Zionists to seduce you with their demonic seducing spirits. Say no to all forms of religion. Judaism is not a race of people, but a religion. Jewish culture is a religion. The Israelites are the people of the Most High. The 12 tribes of Israel were never lost, but hidden in identity stolen by the workers of iniquity. The Most High confirm your lineage to him. There's no need to seek validation from the heathens. Israelites, stand firm and trust the Most High. He will direct your path. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Saviour. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honourable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee people for thy life.